Hi everyone, I'm Matteo Collina and today we're going to talk about my technical principles. Let's get started. First, um, my first technical principle is actually something that would surprise you and it's put people first. Put people first? Well, yes, um, because you might not know about uh, this, I keep citing it all the time, Conway Slow. And it's, uh, I think it's the most important rule of uh, software architecture and software development. Conway's Law says that any organization that designs a system will produce a design whose structure is a copy of the organization communication structure. Why is this so important and why does this matter for software development and software architecture? Well, because if we want to design a piece of software, something, a product or whatever, um, we need first to design the team that we produce it in the most, in the best possible way. How do you do that? We will probably talk about it in a later video. Let's move to the second principle. Developer experience is the key to productivity. Developers must spend as much time in the flow as possible. In fact, it's what makes sparks in us the most joy. Um, you know, if uh, when I am in the flow, I can, uh, uh, I think I can solve uh, any problem in front of me. I just need to focus and, and, and move forward. And it's great. Um, however, something that is, that gets, that, you know, might be problematic are interruptions and meetings and, and constant, and, and, and a constant bird beam, beam, beam of, for example, like your chat system. Um, Something that companies do not realize is that uh, the coordination overhead is, uh, increases exponentially with the number of people in the team. So, for example, uh, developers uh, uh, works best when in team of four or six people. This is also what uh, Amazon will call the Chupisas team. And yeah, you need to, you know, as a company that produces software, which is all companies today, uh, you need to optimize for developer productivity and uh, um, whatever you do, whatever practice you put in place in your company impacts developer productivity greatly. So choose wisely and set up something that uh, improves the, the, your developer's life. And by the way, it's not needed that you do much. Um, uh, you need to plan too much ahead. Just listen to what your team says. OK, how can you make their life better? Last but not least, we have the third principle. What is it? Well, you need to practice continuous deployment and not follow burn down charts. What? You might ask that I'm saying that you need to burn all the agile books? Um, maybe, let's get into it. So all the capital A agile or scrum and so on, uh, predicate the use of um, story points or um, estimates as much as you want to call them to uh, assess how much work you will you can fit in a sprint. Um, the problem arises when then the team is benchmarked against those estimates. So you know you ask the team how much time it will take to do that and then if the team does not, uh, uh, fulfill that promise, it's, um, yeah, well, they're, they're punished or they don't get their bonuses or they don't get anything. I don't know. It's, uh, um, yeah, it's pretty bad because these incentivize either to give for developers to give the wrong estimates on, uh, or, and overestimate everything already. Okay. So that they are all captain ahead and doing more work than what they are estimating and everybody's happy which is, you know, a technique or, um, you know, if, uh, but if I'm, you know, I underestimated something, well, I'm going to ship low quality software to meet my quota, right? And ship bugs and ship everything. So in reality, you know, it doesn't really work that well. And it's, uh, it's why a lot of some part of the industry has shifted to uh, uh, a flow of continuous delivery. 
which is typically measured using the so-called DevOps or Search and Assessments metric, DORA metrics, as they are often called, and um, deployment frequency. How many times do you deploy? Uh, lead time to, uh, to changes, uh, the mean time to recovery, and the change failure rate. Um, all of these combined gives us a uh, shift the focus from the uh, from arbitrary metrics that are being designed by uh, by by developers and the team to measurable data so how many times you put stuff in production how many time it took how much time it took to from a change to from start to finish to get into uh, uh, to to production um, how much time it took to recover once there was an incident and how many time of when you do a deployment, when you introduce a new features, those features will introduce has introduced a problem, a bug, or a crash, or something. You know, those are actually measurable data, and none of these are related to the number of features that are being shipped. And these allow your teams to do their best work. This video was brought to you by Platformatic. We are a new startup that is trying to re revolutionize our APIs and all backend systems are built and deployed. Check us out at platformatic.dev. And that wraps it up. So if you like this video, please uh, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and so you can get updates about new stuff and new content that I'm going to publish soon. And, you know, just in case, if even if you like or not like this video, just let me know in the comments so you can, uh, you know, provide some feedback and thanks for watching and um, see you soon.